Hey guys, Mani Kartik here with another episode of Blogging 101. In this episode, we will talk about five tips that you can use to write amazing blog posts. Let's see. All right, so you have your blog, you know the topics that you'll be writing, you know whom you're writing for, but you don't know how to write content that is amazing. And let me define amazing. Uh, amazing means, or amazing content means content that people love to read, people love to share. Those two are probably the properties I would associate with amazing content. Because if people have to share something on social media or with their friends or on WhatsApp, it has to be awesome. We don't read, we don't like Wikipedia articles unless yeah, Wikipedia articles actually we might be sharing, but you know, that also is awesome in a different level. But content has to be really, really amazing. It has to be above average. It has to excite you in order for people to share it with their friends. So that's what we are looking at. How to write amazing content that people like to read, love to read and share. All right, so tip number one is that you have to write content with a little bit of your personality built in. Uh, when I say personality, you know, each of us have something unique in us. Uh, the way we say things, the way we use humor, the way we research things, the way we are accurate about the facts that we say, whatever it is, uh, find out what is that unique personality about you. And one thing to find that is perhaps ask your friends uh, what you're good at or how they perceive you. Uh, in, in you know the way you are like for example some people might say that you are very humorous or people will say that you know I like the way you remember things or I like the way you refer or give references to certain other things as facts uh, you know on uh, arguments on uh, whatsapp and other things right so find out what that unique personality of yours is or you probably would already know this and use that in your writing don't write boring articles which are always factually right. I know a lot of people do that, but my recommendation is that bring in your personality, bring in you into your writing because uh, a lot of people, that is what they remember your content for, okay? So number one tip is write original content that has a personality or your personality built into it. Uh, the second tip I have for you is that format your blog post really well. Uh, by formatting, I mean use different methods to make sure you enrich your blog post beyond a, a boring text-based blog article. You know, all of us write text-based blog articles, but uh, add few more things to it. Like for example, add an image uh, with proper attribution, of course, uh, add a quote from a you know, famous personality, or add a particular statistic from a study that is relevant to that particular topic or um, you know add a particular data table that shows some you know maybe price comparisons or whatever so if there are any scope of adding more formats to your blog articles uh, try to add that rather than just keeping it a you know top to bottom boring text based article okay uh, number three is uh, try lists. Uh, you probably already know this. A lot of us, including me, uh, is uh, much um, uses a lot of lists in, in our writings. What that means is, you know, top five articles, uh, sorry, top five weeks, ways to do things, or top ten ways to do things, or best five uh, gadgets and things like this. The way uh, or the reason why we use these lists is because people like them because it saves their time. Like for example, if I'm writing on the best uh, smartphones in India or something like that, what happens is I can write you know, extensively about it. But then uh, people should actually read it and then they should figure out which are the best phones. But instead of that, if I just list them out uh, and back in with the reasons that I think these are the best, it would actually save their time. So they can actually go through and find out what are the five best phones without spending time reading everything. So invest in writing lists. So if you are having readers or sorry writers block about you know the content that you're writing uh, try to format them into the list format and it will become a lot more easier for you as well as, as, well as your uh, readers so try the list okay uh, the fourth point is write skimmable content uh, by skimmable content what do i mean um content that saves people time but at the same time is factually accurate is, uh, has a lot of references to authoritative sources, uh, has very strong opinions, uh, has a lot of uh, value in it, 
and it actually helps the user in certain way. For example, if you're writing uh, five best uh, smartphones in India, you know, you invest a lot of time in finding out what the phones out there are. Uh, you find out what are the recent um, uh, trends in the industry, what are the statistics, uh, which are the popular phones. So all of this is your, uh, uh, your, your reference and your uh, research. And that should actually reflect in the article you write. And, uh, but at the same time, you have to make the article skimmable, which means that you have to highlight certain things, like it could be subheadings, it could be lists, it could be uh, quotes, it could be, like I mentioned, uh, data tables. Whatever it is, uh, the person should actually be able to scroll down on the uh, article and skim through the main points so that they know the gist of the article by just uh, skimming the article. Skimming means just glancing through the article. And that saves a lot of time. At the same time, they have a very accurate article. So don't make it too skimmable, but you know, you have to have hit the balance between an authoritative article, which is a very long article of maybe 2,500 words or 5,000 words, and at the same time, make it uh, skimmable. So that's the fourth point. Now, the fifth point, which is a very important point is, uh, Try to solve a problem for the reader or the user. So whenever somebody is finding out your website on search engines and they come to you, uh, they are actually looking for a solution to their problem. A uh, lot of us look at keywords and think that we should write articles for keywords. Like for example, uh, let's say for example, uh, best uh, smartphones, let's say. Uh, so you will write an article about which are the best smartphones. But if you look at the search intent behind that keyword as to why this person searched for best smartphones, you could come up with a lot of deductions about uh, his uh, problem, which is maybe he's trying to shop around uh, for a phone, maybe he's looking for a price comparison, maybe he's looking for which are the local places around his area that he can buy from where he can buy the phone from. So a lot of different angles to that problem uh, from that one particular keyword, which is best smartphones. So don't just stick to one keyword. Try to imagine the problem of the user and write articles to solve that problem from different angles. So what that means is you, instead of just writing best smartphones, uh, you have to also write where you can buy those smartphones from. A price comparison between different uh, online websites or where you can buy it from uh, locally based on his uh, region, things like that. So that will make it a lot more valuable for the user and he's not going to hit the back button and go to another website to search for those uh, additional problems that he has. So solve a problem for the user and they will always reward you by subscribing to your articles and things like that. So those are the five tips I have for you for writing amazing content. Uh, number one is write original content and uh, bring in your personality. Number two is format your blog post really well. And number three is try lists. And number four is write skimmable content. And number five is more, more importantly, solve a problem for your users. All right, so there you have it. If you like this video, please like and uh, share. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have any questions uh, on any of the topics that I mentioned in the video, uh, do post them in the comments or write to me on email at hi at Thanks a lot, see you later, bye.